bail is denied for the suspected driver behind that deadly attack in Charlottesville. That's right. James Fields faced a judge this morning after police charged him with second degree murder. And this after police say he mowed down demonstrators driving his car right into the crowd, killing one and hurting several others. The horror comes amid a chaotic and violent weekend centered around white nationalist protest over the planned removal of a statue of Robert E. Lee. Our Shanu Her is in Charlottesville with the latest on this case. Shanu. Well, like you and uh, like you guys mentioned, Fields was denied bond earlier today. But even after that, those who came out here in front of the courthouse to denounce that hate speech and denounce the groups that were here this weekend organizing this rally, they were still angered and disappointed at how this weekend ended. One man we spoke to said he thinks all of this could have been prevented had city council and city officials blocked what happened this weekend and just blocked those rallies altogether. Again, he, him and other people he was with they say that this weekend could have turned out much different. So although they were very vocal, there are other ways out here that people are expressing their anger and disappointment with what happened this weekend. This is right outside City Hall. There's this memorial out here remembering those two uh, Virginia State police officers who died in that helicopter crash, as well as other messages out here spreading love and just right behind me over this way in this plaza is a big wall and people are just writing on there how they feel and what they think about everything that's going on here in Charlottesville these last couple days just writing all different messages out here and people are still continuing to stop by to let others know how they feel so guys overall a very emotional day right here in Charlottesville but we'll be out here and we'll continue to bring the very latest developments on everything that's going on live in Charlottesville Chinu Hart 13 News Now. All right, Janu, thank you for that. Now, federal authorities want to know, does Fields have any ties to white supremacist groups and was he directed to attack? The FBI is now dissecting his background, launching a civil rights investigation to determine if the attack was a hate crime or domestic terrorism. Now, according to the Pentagon, he attempted to join the military in August of 2015, but lasted only four months after failing to meet training standards. Now, back in school, one of his high school teachers says he idolized lies, dictator and mass murderer Adolf Hitler. You know, we covered the rise of Hitler. He would often say how, you know, Hitler's views were right. You know, what if Hitler had won? Well, FBI agents expect to interview family and associates. They will search residences associated with Fields and exploit any cell phones or computers he may have used. Well, Fields' mother, Samantha Bloom, says that she thought her son, James Fields, went to a rally in favor of President Trump, not for white nationalists. A reporter told Bloom that the rally was indeed organized by white nationalists. Here was her reaction. There was video of him running his car into the crowd. Uh, running his car into a crowd of people right. yeah like I said I don't really talk to him about his you know political views I mean he just so I, I don't really understand or what the rally was about or Bloom says that her son didn't give her any details about the rally but that she told him quote to be careful and to be peaceful the loved ones are also remembering the woman killed after Fields drove that car into the crowd in Charlottesville. And medics took Heather Heyer to the UVA hospital where she died. Heyer's mother says her daughter was always, quote, fierce about defending her beliefs. She believed in peaceful Black Lives Matter, and but she believed in peaceful lives matter for all people. Well, 19 other people suffered injuries ranging from serious to minor and were transported to either UVA Hospital, Santera Martha Jefferson High uh, Hospital, or treated at the scene right there for minor injuries. Now, the UVA Hospital tweeted earlier that 10 of the people injured are in, quote, good condition, that nine others have been discharged.